Well, Miss Bradford, here we are. You'll be landing in a few moments now. It's a beautiful spot, isn't it? Are all the islands that small? Yes, indeed. Very rich in copra, properly worked. But the natives are too lazy and the whites are not interested. Yes, Mr. Armstrong wrote me and told me there was great opportunity here. Oh, yes, indeed. We'll uh, lower away a small boat in a few moments and I'll have the men take you ashore. Thank you. Goodbye and good luck to you. Thank you. Soon, Armstrong. Come on. Have another drink. Now, I gotta be sober when Alan arrives. See, a boat's not due pretty soon. Ah, oh, you've got lots of time before Miss Bradford arrives. Okay. I guess I can stay with you. How many cars? I'll play these. Well, what do you got? Full house. Maybe it'll be better next time. There won't be any next time. I always lose when I play with you. Just a minute. I'll take your IOU for that last stack. We better go lay down. Come on. Yeah, but I got the bolt. I will come with me. Lay down in the back here. He's got the good jack on. What? He's in good spirits. Mm. You lay down. Play the yoker. You can't play the joker. Why can't I play the yoker? Because you, you can't play it in, in this game. Well, I play it anyway. Get out of here. 
I'm looking for Mr. Armstrong. They told me I'd find him here. Mr. Armstrong has been called to one of the other islands on business. He asked me to look after you till he returns. How long will he be? He might be several hours, Miss Bradford. Your good friend Armstrong has told me about you. I am Captain Herman von Lutz. I'm awfully glad to know you. This is hardly the place for you to wait. I'm sure you would be more comfortable in my quarters. Hey, oi. Show Miss Bradford to my living room. See, she has everything she wants. And see, she is not disturbed. Thank you. You are very kind. It is a pleasure to serve a friend of Mr. Armstrong. Collecting things, bits of china, or even precious pearls. My favorite hobby much more pleasure brings. I cruise the world in search of girls. Wherever I go, it's so nice to know I've got a girl in every form. Wherever I roam, I can sing to sweet home. I've got a girl in every form. In Nagasaki, Singapore, Tango, Tango, too. I've even got a lima bean who lives down in Peru. If I go above, I'll have an angel to love. I've got a girl in every port. Wherever I go, it's so nice to know I've got a girl in Looks like the island, all right. Head her in. Right! have a lot of women in it. Look at it. You take care of the pearls and let me have the girls, huh? Come near me and talk. Now, y'all behave yourself, and I'm going to feed you, and I'm going to water you right here. <laughs> oh, what is better than good clear beer and a beautiful gal on your knee? What more could any sailor ask when he's fresh in from sea? A tankard of ale that's not too pale, and a gal whose kiss is free. What is better than good clear beer and a beautiful gal on your knee? Break it up! Break it up! Break it up! What more could any sailor ask when he's fresh in from sea? A wine we need for the weekly, a 
the natives. A drink. Yeah, I know. You remember Madagascar? You should be with us. Shut and... up, you fool. You're not supposed to know it. Oh, sure. I know how it is. I don't know you, Madagascar. No, I don't know. Let's fill him up. Come on, yeah. folks. Good yeah. time, Tolly's buying again. Hey, I'm looking for a fellow by the name of Look. You know where he is? In there, Captain. The follow Mr. Young. Mike. How's it been, Mike? Oh, I've been fine. I'm always fine when I don't see much of you. <laughs> well, a little bit heavier, a little bit uglier than the last time I saw you. <laughs> Good Lord, he's turned pansy. <laughs> oh, I spilled it. It's all right, Mike. You don't have to apologize to me. Who's apologizing? Okay, Mike, but just what is for still mine? Just what do you want here? To tell you the truth, Mike, I came to buy some pearls. Like you bought my boatload of guns at San Salando, huh? I wouldn't have hijacked them from you, Mike, if you hadn't have tried to double-cross me. You never seem to learn. Uh -huh. Now, see here, Thorn. I'm boss on this island. And if you want to buy pearls, you've got to have the money. Money is something that I haven't got anything else but, Mike. Oh. You don't know some nice little white girl that I could spend some of it on, do you? There isn't a white woman on the island. Okay, Mike. You won't mind if I look around a little bit then, will you? <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Thorne's the name. Jim Thorne. What did they christen you? I'm Miss Bradford. Ellen Bradford. Okay, Ellen. I'm just in from a big trip. I've got a lot of partying to do. I'm holding heavy, and if you want the moon, I'll buy it for you. But before we start, let's have a lot of drinks, eh? Oh, what do you have? Thank you. I wouldn't care for anything to drink. <laughs> oh, don't be like that, kid. Come on, let's put on a big party and get cockeyed. What do you say? Your offer flatters me, but I'm not interested in getting cockeyed. Oh, don't be bashful, honey. I'm not hard to take. Where's your phonograph? Phonograph? I have no phonograph. Oh, that's okay. I've got a swell radio outfit on the ship. What do you say we go out there, huh? Thank you. But I'm going to stay right here. 
Okay with me, kid. It's an awful sucker trick, though, to hang around with Lutz when I'm so easy to get. Oh, I barely know Captain Von Lutz. He merely permitted me to wait here for Mr. Armstrong. Then you're not Von Lutz's girl? Most certainly not. Yeah, well, I thought... Say, who's this Armstrong? Mr. Armstrong is the man I'm engaged to. I came here to marry him. Oh. Oh, oh sure. I, I'm sorry. I should have known. Known what? That a girl like you wouldn't be hanging around with that old gorilla. You see, Mr. Armstrong didn't know when I'd get here. I arrived in Stuva Wednesday. Had to wait over a couple of days for a trading boat. Well, perhaps we could send a message to him at the plantation. Oh, he's not at the plantation. He's on one of the other islands. <laughs> Strange that he didn't meet you, knowing that there were no other white women on the island. Oh, I'm not afraid. I'm sure Mr. Armstrong will be along soon. What's going on here? Roy, dear. All right. I said, what's going on here? Why, Captain Von Luce told me you were at a neighboring island, and I came here to wait for you. That's fine. This fellow been annoying you? No, he's been... My name's Thorne. I... He's been kind enough to entertain me while I was waiting. Sorry, Mr. Thorne. Apologize. I didn't quite understand. See, I, you know, I'm, I'm not quite myself, you know. Yeah, I understand. Perhaps you'd better sit down a little while. Eh? No, 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 oh, no. Goodbye, that's quite all right. Now, don't, now, don't that's you worry that's about that's me. Now, Ellen, dear, I've got to get you and your baggage to the plantation. Oh, we come here to rob some guy. I forget what his name was. Oh, let me think. With what? Oh, with what? Oh, no, not with what. I was telling the guy... To... Come on, I got a job for you. Well, you guys wait here, and if I can remember who this guy is, we're going to rob. I'll tell you. One of my men will take you to your plantation safely. Thank you. Oh, it's all right. Oh, but Come on, really, old man, that's not necessary at all. Right. Beauty will take you there and stay for any orders necessary. Besides, yeah. That's... Please, I think it'll be best. But I'm deeply obligated to you, old boy. Oh, oh, it's all right. Don't mess it. Stay there till he sobers up. You understand? No. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'll be back as soon as this guy's pinnacle flakes out. Roy, but I can't marry you until you've proven that all this is past. 
But, dear, we'll be married, and then... Please, Roy. I told you I'll not marry you until you've proven that you've changed. You're absolutely right, Ellen. The burden of proof does rest with me, and I'll show you. Oh, I know you will. You just watch me go. Of course, the old plantation is a bit run down. But with you here, I've got a real incentive to build it up. And I'll help. I want to do my share to bring back the lovable Roy I first knew. Tomorrow, I'll arrange for a longer working day. The natives have had an easy time of it. But from now on, every man's going to work plenty hard, including myself. You are supposed to be the prettiest girl on the island, ain't you? I am prettiest girl. You're clever, ain't you? Me? I'm clever like Tan. Then you can find some way to get him to drink with you. Oh. Why do you want him to drink? So you be fight a woman, huh? None of your business. You do as you are told. All right. But we have to have money for buy bangles to make you people. Then Roy will a drink with your like you want. That is not enough for buy safety control. That is all you get. You will be paid a rest when the job is finished. Can you be quiet, woman? Huh? Keep your mouth shut, you understand? Oh, I understand. The while I dragged me eye over the joint. Everything's all right. There's been no trouble? No, there ain't no trouble. Oh, over there. No, yeah. there ain't no trouble. A while ago, these Wahinis, they get to fighting about me, and I smacked a couple of them down, and everything's been great. Well, <laughs> go on back to your way. Yeah. Oh, that ain't right. That's a lot of fun. They elected me king. Sort of a bell ram. Yeah. You can't crowd me that way. You guys have got to get around and take your time. Don't know how to do that. I'll keep that on. All right, now, come on. <laughs> ah, there's the one he needs to have. 
Nem sei. Tá louca, não sei. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Thorne. I thought perhaps I'd drop around, Mrs. Armstrong, and apologize for my mistake this afternoon. Not Mrs. Armstrong. I'm still Miss Bradford. Oh. We've decided to postpone the wedding temporarily. Mr. Armstrong is quite all right, I hope. Oh, yes. He's just gone to his quarters. I'll send him over to tell him you're here. Oh, no, no. Don't bother. I... I'll just be staying a minute. I want to thank you for your assistance today. Oh, don't mention it. I had to square myself somehow for mistaking you for Lutz's girl. Oh, I should have known better. What were you going to do? Sort of even things up with him for the affair with Plum Blossom? Hey. Who told you about that? Why, I was in the next room. And the walls down there are pretty thin, so I couldn't help overhearing. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, one doesn't expect to find women like you in Lutz's rooms. I told you you're not to come here again. But Poppy bring Roy fellow. A nice drink. I'm not drinking anymore. No. No. Now you get out of here and take your nice drink along with you. not going to stay. Now, here, you take your drink right along with you. Now, you get out of here. Do you understand? Now, I'm leaving word with the foreman in the morning not to let you here again. Now, get out. I know I'm going to love it here. Don't be fooled by the spell of the South Seas that you read in book. There are a lot of things that you won't like here. I must admit I didn't get the best impression in the world from that terrible dive this afternoon. <laughs> Nor from the men that you met? Don't remind yourself of that. I can readily understand your mistake. Hey! 
Armstrong. Hello, beauty. Oh, no, I forgot. That wedding was called off, wasn't it? No, just postponed. Seems like a shame not to have a wedding when you have all that swell grub and everything. What did you put it off for? Oh, because it seemed expedient. Yeah, it was speedy. It was a swell break for you, anyhow. A swell break? Sure. You've got a chance now to grab off Thorn. Well, I am fortunate indeed. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he likes you. He, he told me to come over here and hang around and if you needed anything for me to tell him. Well, I'll not be needing anything, so it'll really be unnecessary for you to remain. Yeah, I'll stay. You know, he don't generally treat him like he does you. He doesn't. No, he loves him and leaves him. You don't say. Yeah. You know, he's a swell guy. What do you call his wife? Light Sea Captain. Captain Thorne! Oh, good holiday. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, no, that round one over there. I? Yeah, you gonna be home tonight? What do you mean, be home? Oh, anywhere around here. You know, maybe we could uh, go swimming or something. Oh, I, I. Yeah. <laughs> when, uh, you get, when you get any more, you'll know where to bring them, eh? You treat us native ponies. We be good to you. Be plenty poor. Fine. Mahalo. Hey, beauty. <laughs> we ought to have a celebration on that, eh, beauty? Yeah. 
Let's go ashore and have a drink, eh? Yeah, I, I just saying we ought to do something. <laughs> Hello, baby. Well, say, you're all right. You are doing, Jack. Say, you think the more I sing. Some people go in for collecting things, bits of china, or even precious pearls. My favorite hobby much more pleasure brings. I cruise the world in search of girls. Wherever I go, it's so nice to know I've got a girl in every port. Wherever I roam, I can sing from sweet home. I've got a girl in every port. In Nagasaki, Singapore, Tango, Tango, too. I've even got a lima bean who lives down in Peru. If I go above, I'll have an angel to love. I've got a girl in every port. Is Captain Von Lutz here? Yes, ma'am. Back there in his quarters. Thank you. Well, Miss Bradford, I am sure glad to see you. Come in. How is my friend Armstrong? I haven't seen much of him since you've been here. He's been working very hard, and the plantation is coming along splendidly. Good. And if he needs any further help, I'll be glad to... Thank you, Captain. I came to learn the extent of Mr. Armstrong's obligations to you. I don't believe I can tell you offhand. You see, I have given the matter so little thought. Isn't it a fact that you have a half interest in the plantation as security for advances? Yes, that is true. But I hope he isn't worrying about it. That's just it. I feel he is worrying about it. So I'm going to settle the amount myself. That is entirely unnecessary. But of course, if you... I'm sure Mr. Armstrong's mind will be much freer if it is paid. Very well, Miss Bradford. If you will drop around, say, in a day or so, I'll be very glad to straighten it out. Thank you, Captain. Good day. <laughs> Miss Bradford, this is no place for a white woman to come alone. I came here on business. This is no place for a white woman to come, even on business. Thank you, Mr. Thorne. When I'm in need of your assistance, I'll ask for it. <laughs> it's always my pleasure to serve the ladies when they request it. <laughs> ladies, man, it's not so hot today, huh? What do you say to a little game of poker, Thorne? Been a long time since you and I sat in a game. No, thanks, Mike. You're too clever for me. Much too clever. Afraid, huh? No, just not in the mood, that's all. Some other time, eh? All right. You won't go, go back, back to China. China. Oh, well, well. Oh, oh, baby. Are you looking for me? <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, how's chances for a day? Will you let me huh? pay us? It's all right, baby. Oh. We got lots of money. We just come off the boat, and we're going to have a big time. Us and you, huh? I saw her first. She's no. mine. Mr. I saw Thorne. her first. Mr. Thorne. She's mine. I saw I her first. I saw her first. No, sir. 
Oh, so you want to fight, eh? Say, what's all this mess around? What's the matter? Hey, let go. Oh, you yeah. see, boss, I was... Who are you hitting, anyway? Well, I'm... Oh, well, I don't know. Oh, are you hurt, Mr. Thorne? Oh, no, I'm all right. I think you owe me another coat, though. Oh, I'll mend it for you if you send out the plantation. Oh, I don't know what I'd done if you hadn't. Heard your call for help? <laughs> yeah. I saw them stop you, but as long as you told me that you'd call me when you needed help, I, I thought I'd wait for your call. Thank you, Mr. Thorne, for your assistance. I'm very appreciative. Good day. <laughs> oh, don't mention it. If you ever need me again, why, sing out. Yeah, sing out. Set him up, Madagasky. out at the plantation. Oh, nothing. Everything looks swell. Has that native girl Poppy been out there lately? No, no, ain't nobody been out there. How's Miss Bradford? Oh, she's swell. She does. He, he run out on her. Who run out on her? He Armstrong. Where'd he go? Oh, wham, that's what I forgot to tell you. Him and her had the long parties bouts, and he says, I'm going downtown alone, and I'm going to prove to you that I'm cured. He did? Yeah, and I never even know he was sick. Have a nice little drink with Poppy, huh? I'm not drinking. All right, fella. Come in. Have just one little drink. Hmm? All right. One. What brings you into town today, eh? Why, I came in to uh, buy some supplies. <laughs> oh, good. You know, I came in to get some things at the store myself. Come on, we'll walk along down the street together, eh? Sure. I want to talk to you anyway. You stay here with Poppy, Beauty. Yeah, sure. See that she doesn't get lonesome. Yeah. How's Miss Bradford? 
She's fine, thank you. A wonderful girl, Armstrong. You know that anyhow. I most certainly do. I wouldn't leave her alone uh, if I were you, Armstrong. It isn't quite safe. Well, what do you mean? She's the only white girl here, and, <laughs> well, no white woman would be safe with Mike Lutz on the same island. I know it. That's why I'm anxious to get out of his debt. Hmm. Gambling debt? Yeah. Much? Half the plantation. You know, it's terribly discouraging sometimes. Let me tell you something, Armstrong. With a girl like Miss Bradford loving you, you'd be rich if you didn't have a dime. Oh, I know that I... Don't worry about the plantation. Show her that you appreciate the many sacrifices she's made for you. Yes, I... I guess you're right. A girl must think an awful lot of a man to come to a place like this and stick. You're absolutely right, Thorn. And a fellow who didn't appreciate it would be just no good. Exactly. Say, you're a great guy. <laughs> come on inside. I've got a little shopping to do myself. Come All on. right. Just as soon as the new machinery comes, I'm going to move those storage rooms. It looks different already. <laughs> I told you I'd do it. You know, it's really amazing what you've accomplished in these few weeks. You haven't seen anything yet. Well, Ellen, dear, what's the verdict? Verdict? Well, I don't understand. Oh, let's don't beat about the bush. When are we going to be married? You told me you were through with liquor. Can you tell me, honestly, that you've had nothing to drink since I've been here? No, I... I said honestly. Well, not enough to hurt. Please. I haven't said anything to you. But I've known every time that you've taken a drink.
You are having all the luck tonight, Thorn. Yeah, yeah. Jerry yeah, never can tell them why it might change before the night's over. He used to have a sax and a couple of yaks. Yeah, I had two hates. Okay. Well, this is seven guard stud, boys. Dealer's choice. Thanks. And that last one up. Clean for your dealer. Well. Just a minute. Don't spend That's much. worth a hundred. Ten is the best thing I could do for you this time, Mike. And a five for me. <laughs> Not so good. Well, I guess it's worth a hundred. Another clean. A pass showing and a seven for me. Well, what are the ladies worth, Mike? Is that the limit? Well, I guess we'll deal them all out. Another queen. Well, still I might be lucky. That last one may be an ace. A lot of good will do you. Think you have me beaten, do you, Mike? If we weren't playing table stakes, I'd show you how bad. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. You have several of Armstrong's IOUs, haven't you? Yes. I'll just put the works on those. That's a bet. Tough hand of Ethorn. Four ladies. Just a minute. You see that ace? Well, there's three more just like it. That makes four in my kind of arithmetic. You know, you always lose when you depend on the ladies, Mike. Tough break. Better luck next time, eh? Next time can be right now, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I've got a date to buy some pearls from some of the natives. Oh, beauty. Yeah. Cash those checks in with Madagascar, will you? Yeah, sure. Oh, beauty. Yeah? Lutz is a hard loser. Keep your eye open, will you? Yeah. Yeah, I know that game was crooked. Yeah? You don't know how crooked. We are going to get it all back and more. And we're leaving here on his boat. Yeah, but just how you skull do that? You leave that to me. Hey, beauty. What? Come here. I want to talk to you. Sure. I got business here. What are you doing tonight, Beauty? Who, me? Thornsmen, you and the rest of them. Oh, I suppose we'll hang around and get liquored and get into a few jams, just like every other night. Well, I'll tell you something. This is my birthday, yeah. and I'm giving a big party tonight. Oh, swell. That's been my chips by Ingo. Yeah? What about them? And mine. So, Beauty. You tell all the boys to come in here for a big time, huh? Sure, yeah. Yeah, they like that. Yeah, everything is free. Yeah. You see, I won the show thorn. It don't bother me to lose a few thousand. Oh, uh, you know, the skipper thought you'd be sore about that. <laughs> no. no, not me, Beauty. No? No, so you run along and tell the boys. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Hey, listen, sailors, we're going to pull a luau tonight. It'll knock you all on your back. Sailor, where's Thorn? He's just gone ashore. I must have missed him. How many men did he leave on board? Well, what's that to you? That was a beauty. Here, take him up forward and tie him up. Oh, 
Oh, don't misunderstand me, please. I think that your loyalty is one of the finest things that I've ever known. That's why I'm going away. Going away? Why, yes, we, we sail in the morning. Oh. This is goodbye, Ellen. Hey, what's the matter? Please, I want you to take me away with you. Where are you? Liquor? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Perhaps we'd better go back and see what we can do for him, eh? I'd rather not go back there. Won't you please take me to Stuba so I can get the first boat home? Why, I'd be very glad to. Armstrong's not with him? No, sir. No, they're, they're by themselves. They'll be on board in a minute. That's not bad. I couldn't have done better myself. Now listen, you two. Come here. <laughs> here we are. Now you go down below, Ellen. Make yourself comfortable and I'll send a man back to your bag. Thank you. Here's your coat. All righty. Oh, Ellen. You know, it's a funny thing, but the first day I saw you, I knew we were going to be married. Going to be married? Why, sure we are. Oh. <laughs> Didn't you know? Well, what do you say? Will you marry me? Hell yes. Didn't you know? Come here, hey. Steve. Come up, Horn. 
Come on. Don't worry about her. She's not going to run away. Oh, the smart guy ain't so smart after all, eh, Thorne? <laughs> kind of looks that way, Mike. Very nice of you to drop everything in my lap this way. <laughs> yeah, wasn't it? This tub squares us for that boat load of guns of mine. And the girl will even things up for Plum Blossom. All I've got to do is drop you off and then be on my way to Europe on my honeymoon. <laughs> You're not forgetting the pearls I bought, are you, Mike? No, the money that I wanted poker? Maybe we can make a deal. <laughs> the only thing you deal from now on is solitaire. That's right. Now, you are here. Drum on everything you can see there and hold on to the ship. Papa will be back pretty quick. Come on, you can come. What and... for you bring us here? What for? You better tell the captain about the party, Edna. He will be glad. Will yes. he be glad? Huh. He'll be tickled pink. Oh, he loves party. You're throwing up a big bankroll. The pearls alone are worth 50 grand. Don't you worry about the pearls. We'll get them off you later. <laughs> you don't suppose I'd be fool enough to be carrying them with me, do you? I don't suppose you'd be fool enough to carry them anyplace else. You guys wait here. I'll be right back. Well, boys, hey, we must... Shepard! Shepard, I've got a bunch of them. Stick up your hands. Oh, no, i got something i got to tell you. Stick them up. Oh, look at that now. Did you come aboard alone, Beauty? Sure, I... No, I brought up... How many did you bring with you? Well, the boat is only hold seven of them. Where are they? They're up on the deck. They're, they're raring to... They're raring for a fight, eh? Yeah. No, no. What they want... I know what they want. Never mind, that's all. Well, Mike, it's your move, and you've got to move fast. The six of my men up there on deck, and they're going to come crashing down here any minute. Oh, boss, you don't... Don't want to see them killed? Of course not. I'll give you one chance, Mike, and you've got to take it. Hand over everything that you've stolen, and I'll see that you get out of this thing alive. Well, come on before they start shooting up there. Boss, you don't... Oh, shut up. He's the one to the side. Put your gun on the table there, Mike. You too, Limey. Come on. You well, too, look, Swede. Boss, I'm trying to explain... Yeah, to I know that we should bump them off. Well, I'm going to give them a chance. Come on, shell out, Mike. Make it snappy. Well, blow me down. I'll take the key, too. Now get over there. <laughs> Come on, get over there. Tell I call down the women? No, I'll leave them up there with the sailors. With the sailors? That's what I've been trying to tell you. Yeah, that the boys have been drinking yeah, and... Yeah, sure, the boys is drinking, but they're all ashore doing their drinking. Come on, 
Oh, hello, Mr. Hickey. Oh, there you are. Say, look, we just had the swellest fight down there you ever saw in your life. What fight fight? I don't know what was for, but it sure was a peach. Damn you, Swan. You can't but me. So you got me out of spot, eh? Oh, no. I forgot the most important thing. You wait here a while. Are you hurt? No, I'm all right. Has he gone? <laughs> no, but he will be as soon as he's able to walk. Hey, Skipper! Skipper! Skipper, well, I, I forgot the important thing I come down here to tell you. Forgot what? Well, this is Lute's birthday, and he's given a swell party. He is? Yeah. No. 